All right, BeFit Nation, looks like we are ready to go. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BeFit Live, a chance to progress and focus on our health and wellness team. We have a very special workout for you today. We're building off of last week's workout with a resistance-based workout team. Uh, we are joined by myself, host, BeFit Ambassadors, Roy Montes, and Senior Master Sergeant, Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, man? Hi, fantastic. Good, I hope we are ready to push some weight around because we are focusing on uh, strength, on stability, on some core engagement, as well as targeted muscle groups that we're gonna push through and really focus on form and uh, really just gearing into our movements for today, right? Nice controlled movements, especially when we're pushing around with weight. So that's the kind of mindset that we're gonna tackle for today's workout. We're going to ask for a lot of effort from our viewers and our participants, but uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun uh, during today's workout. If you're new to the program, Welcome, join us, leave us a note in the comment section below. We'd love to see where you're joining us from, where you're working out from, how your week is starting, how uh, anything that you're looking forward to as far as activity wise, uh, health and wellness wise, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know how we're doing team. Um, and again, if you're new, this is our chance to really focus on moving our active bodies here. So uh, with today's resistance workout, we have four different movements that we're gonna go through for today team. All right, uh, let's start off with a hybrid style of workout for today. We have movement number one, which is a Romanian deadlift staggered stance, okay? And we're gonna go through each of these demonstration movements uh, before we get started. Movement number two is gonna be a bicep curl into a squat into an overhead press. Movement number three will be a forward lunge with an added twist. And movement number four is gonna be a moving plank, okay team? Our timing is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 40 seconds of active work, 20 seconds to rest and recover, 60 seconds in between our four total rounds, team, okay? Again, we're focusing on isolating, on controlling our movements throughout the duration of our 40 seconds of work, okay? Uh, again, we're gonna demonstrate each of these four movements. So as we get started, or as we get settled in, find that water, find that towel, Find some dumbbells uh, or anything that you can add some added resistance into each of these four movements, team. All right, uh, let's start off with demonstrations, team. Okay, uh, we have uh, movement number one, which will be the RDL, the Romanian deadlift at a staggered stanch position. So we're gonna grab two dumbbells here. Sergeant Barry is gonna grab two dumbbells. And first and foremost, with this movement, we are thinking staggered stance. So we are isolating that front legged hamstring and glute. So heel to toe on our foot placement as well as shoulder width apart. We're gonna take our dumbbells. We're gonna put them uh, as close to our bodies as possible. We're gonna hinge at the hips. So that just means we are gonna push our hips back, keeping our dumbbells close to us, feeling that activation in our hamstrings, in our glutes, and then rising right back up to standing position. We're gonna go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg as our lead leg, always keeping a soft bend at that front leg as well, again. Feeling that activation in that front grounded hamstring and glute. Standing back up with nice control and nice form like Sergeant Barry is doing. All right. And this is great. A great about this movement is it really forces you to activate that front leg. So uh, be mindful on how much weight we are choosing. But we can, be, we, can, we can lift a good amount of weight with that single stance and that stagger stance RDL. All right, team. Movement number two. I have this one. We have a bicep curl into a squat and a press. So grabbing a pair of dumbbells here, we're gonna set our foot placement up, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna drop down into a uh, bicep curl to a squat to a press. So from neutral grip here, meaning palms are facing us. We're gonna come up front rack position to where our dumbbells and our hands, our palms are facing us into that top front rack position. Wrists are over our elbows. We're dropping down into our squat, nice controlled movement, keeping our hips, um, keeping our chest up, driving up out of that squat position, rotating with our palms facing away from us now, and then into an overhead press. Controlling that weight right back down, all the way back to your starting position. Again, we have a front rack position with our bicep curl into our squat, and then into an overhead press with our palms facing out. Controlling that weight again on the way down. So a lot of movement there. A lot of bang for our buck with a bicep curl squat to press. All right, keeping with some dumbbell work, actually one dumbbell, we have a forward lunge with an added twist at the top of the movement. So finding the back of your workout space, you're going to take one forward lunge, dropping that rear knee down, and at that front leg, we're gonna to twist to that side. 
So torso twist, thinking core engagement, thinking uh, oblique activation. With that twist, come back to start and standing position. Uh, we don't have to take that much of a pause. The starting variation is really dialing in here, right? With that twist, again, opposite or alternate legs and then coming back to standing position. So you have a forward lunge with an added twist to engage our core, to help focus and really challenge us in a stability type of way with movement number three. And last but not least, movement number four, we're gonna come down to the floor here with a moving plank. So a few options here. Um, with the moving plank, you can move with us or you can hold a low plank or a high plank just like we will demonstrate right here. So with movement number four, we are in that low plank position. Our elbows are stacked right underneath our shoulders. This is gonna be our low plank. Hips are square to the floor, feet are shoulder width apart. Nice flat back from here. Hands come underneath our shoulders for a high plank position. Again, keeping our hips square to the floor and our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna move comfortably through that low plank, high plank variation for 40 seconds. Now, options here, we can hold a high plank right here or we can hold a low plank right here. Depending on our fitness level, we can also modify by dropping to our knees and holding our hips up into that hybrid of a low plank right here or a high plank variation as well. So that would be the modification for movement number four. But those are gonna be the four movements that we're gonna tackle for today. So I think uh, we are ready to push some weight around team. I hope you are too. And as always, let us know how you're doing in the comments below team. All right, we'll be checking uh, our feed regularly. So uh, any words of encouragement, any high fives, any hand claps, we appreciate them. And I know our BFit Nation team appreciates them as well. All right. So again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest is going to be the timing for today. We'll go through some light uh, dynamic stretching. So hydrate here before we get started. And then we'll go directly into our workout. So let's get our bodies ready to, ready to work here. I, I feel like I feel like we're ready to go here. <laughs> My heart rate's elevated already. Uh, let's start uh, by loosening up our hips, our quads, our glutes uh, with a dynamic quad stretch. So we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back towards our hips, take that left arm and extend it up towards the ceiling here, push our hips forward, sit in this for a one, two, three seconds, and then go ahead and switch arms and switch legs here. Again, dynamic quad stretch, really think about pushing our hips forward, sitting in these movements for as long or as short as you need to, right? Been seated for a little bit long, a little bit longer than usual. This can really help uh, open up our hips and get us ready to work here, especially into those squats, uh, especially into the RDL that we have for movement number one. All right, last three seconds, last two, last one, and we're good. All right, team, I know. Nice wide stance here, we are thinking lateral lunges here with our feet fixed forward we're just going to shift our weight over to the left and to the right so i'm heading to my right side here keeping my chest up and just shifting our weight over comfortably to the left and to the right right you're going to feel that isolation some blood flow moving to our lower legs here inside of our thighs are feeling a little bit of a stretch driving back up to standing position you're utilizing your quads so again, as quickly or as slowly as you need to move through these movements, all right, team? About 30 seconds here, so last five seconds. Out in three, two, and one. And because we have some lunge work here, let's take it into a reverse lunge at the top of our space here. So reverse lunge, right leg goes back, right arm goes up into an overhead reach. And thinking about stretching our lats here, with this nice lateral lunge, again, that front so as that front hip flexor, can, you can feel that stretch as well. So left arm is up, left arm, left arm reaches over, coming back up to standing. And with this one, try to keep our feet shoulder width apart as well. That can help with any type of lunge scenario. So think about our feet being on railroad, on train tracks, rather than on a tightrope. That's, that's my analogy right there for that one. That's deep. <laughs> Good job, team. Last few here. Out in three, out in two, out in one. And because we do have some moving planks, we have some shoulder 
uh, work to run through as well. So we'll go into the last YTWs here, taking advantage of that nice wide spread in with our arms. So this is gonna be our center position. From here, we're gonna reach out into a big Y, bringing those shoulder blades back. Nice squeeze at the top, back to center, big T. Good. And a big W here. This is a great opportunity to really focus on our breathing as well. Nice deep breath in. Exhaling, back to T here. Good, feeling those shoulder blades go back. And a big W with our arms. You can feel that stretch in our shoulders. Back to center. One more time, all the way through. Y, M, T, N, A. <laughs> All right, team. Looks like we are ready to go. I know Sergeant Barry and I feel like we are ready to go. So let's get things started. Again, our timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. A few dumbbells and a lot of effort will get us into a solid workout. So we're going to go ahead and start the timer here. What's that? And a smile. And a smile. And a smile because we are going to have some fun uh, during today's hybrid style of workout. All right, team. Again, 40 work, 20 rest, four rounds, one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Todd, we have 10 seconds here. <clears throat> two dumbbells here, up in five. Three, two, one, and we are off to the races here. Again, staggered stance. We're gonna alternate our lead foot after each rep. So heel to toe on our foot placement, push those hips back, feel our engagement in that front leg, hamstring, and glute to bring this back up to standing, okay? Most importantly, try to take it nice and slow. If this is your first time doing an RDL, uh, make sure we are pushing those hips back. Think about pushing in a car door with our hips, with our glutes. So pushing those hips back with that hinge movement. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job. Drop down to any way you would choose, but we have a curl squat press coming up. So a lot of different pieces here. Lower body, upper body activation. I know, I'm getting ready. <laughs> All right, team, feet shoulder width apart, hands facing us first, and here we go. So into our curl, down into our squat, as low as that may be, and then up into a nice controlled overhead press. Back to standing position, front rack, Palms are facing you, elbows tucked in underneath our wrists. Drive up to those heels, and in one fluid motion, you're back into that overhead press. Again, controlling the lowering, controlling the lowering phase as we work through. Good. Good job. Seven seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. That's it. That's the vibe we need today. That is the vibe we need on a Monday. <laughs> All right, again, 20 seconds here. We're dropping to one dumbbell. We have a forward lunge with an added twist. Think of our obliques really engaging for this movement. So back of our space here, dumbbell at about chest level, taking our left leg, lunging forward here, dropping that rear knee down, twisting on that lead leg side, right back to starting position and back to standing. Go ahead and alternate, alternate those legs, alternate those lunges at your pace here. Good. Good job, team. Keep it up. Keeping that chest up. Shoulders rolled back. I think what's nice about holding our dumbbell in front of us, you may not know it, but we are asking a lot from our biceps just from that front hold. So they are activated the full time. 20. Two, one, zero. 20 seconds of rest. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, team, find a space on the floor here. We have moving planks. So this is where we get to really focus on core contraction here, driving our navel back to our spine into that low plank and high plank position. So starting from our elbows here, underneath our shoulders, we rise up to a high plank and then back down into a low. All right, take your time with this. We can go again as fast or as slow as you would like. We have 40 seconds to work through. If we need to hold a low plank position or a high plank position, let's go ahead and do that. Again, depending on our fitness level, 
We can meet you there. 10 seconds here. Don't forget to smile. Holding that low plank, holding that high plank. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, Be Fit Nation. Coming up to standing position. Find our breath. Find that oxygen up here. Find our zen. Again, if you're new to the program, welcome to our Be Fit Live program workout team. Again, leave us a note in the comments below. I'm Be Fit Ambassador Roy Montes, and we have Senior Master Sonny Berry with us today, putting in the work during our resistance-based workout team. Again, love to see where you're joining from. Love to see where you're watching from. Encouraging our Be Fit Nation family here. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest is a timing. The chance to focus on our resistance, on our strength building process uh, through today's Be Fit Live workout team. 13 seconds here to recover. RDLs, Romanian deadlifts with a staggered stance on our foot placement. I'm sizing up on this one. I'm sizing up on this one. I, I feel, I, oh, we are, we are sizing up. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock here. And that's what it's, that's what it's about here. If we can size up, if we can scale up on our weight through each of our four rounds, it's what we call progressive overload. Think about trying to build those specific body parts that we're working through with added resistance, added strength forcing our bodies to work through some added weight here. 12 seconds here. Nice control form, first and foremost, so. Last five. Out in three, two, take your time, nice deep breath in on the way down, looking down as you track down, and exhaling to standing with 20 seconds here. <laughs> Good job, team, good job. Two dumbbells here, squat curl press. <clears throat> We are just warming up. Coming up on second round here. Second movement, 40 seconds on the clock. Feet shoulder width apart. We are up into our bicep curl front rack position here. Down into our squat, and driving up through our heels. Keeping that chest up, overhead press. Back to starting. Good. Good job. Try to use that momentum out of that squat. Into that overhead press. Good. All right, team. Stay with us here. Again, nice control. Exhaling as we rise back up to standing. Out in three. Last rep here. Two, one, and time. Good job. 20 seconds here. Drop in one dumbbell. We have a forward lunge with an added twist. Again, with this added twist, think about core engagement. Think about our obliques. Firing up on that side. All right, team, we are up in two, one. Here we go, team. Nice forward lunge position. Tracking back up to standing. Again, feet shoulder width apart on both. Step out and step back in. Chest is up, shoulders roll back. Good. Torso is twisting, head is tracking. Arms are moving along in that same direction. Good. Stepping out, dropping down, adding with that twist. Last seven seconds here, team. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. How are we doing with those added twists? Really forcing us to stabilize in that split stance here, right? A lot of core engagement here, you may not notice, but it's there on the floor here with a moving plank. We are up in two, one, here we go team. Into that low plank again. Be mindful of our foot placement can help out a lot with stability. Those feet being shoulder width apart. Just like the tightrope scenario, a little wider can help out. Moving through our moving planks. Again, this is the high plank here onto our hands, we're down into a low plank on our elbows. Pausing during each one can really help. <laughs> Catching our breath here, last seven seconds here. Again, moving as fast or as slow as you need. Last two, last one. Good job, team. Hand clap from the audience there. 
audience is warming up. Yeah. <laughs> we got it, Steve. Good job, good job. Again, good work today, BFIT Nation. This is all about, this is what it's all about. Showing up on a Monday, putting in the work, setting the tone for the week, pushing through. Good work, team. How are we doing, team? How are we doing? Remember to stay hydrated during each round here. During each of your four movements, take the time if you need to have that additional water break uh, to really get your oxygen level back up. Recover for a brief second if you need. But again, each of these movements can be scaled up by adding weight, by increasing our tempo, or scaled back by um, you know, reducing the amounts of uh, forward lunge or squat depth that we need to, or the weight that we are uh, lifting. So we are going up in two, one, <laughs> third round, third round. Third round, second to best round here. <laughs> Again, heel to toe on our foot placement. That rear toe is up on our, I'm sorry, yeah, that rear toe is up on our toe. Uh, on the toe, <laughs> yeah. Right. I think about 80% of our weight should be on that front leg. Again, hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back, and a soft bend at our knees. As always, a soft bend at that knee to really take the pressure off of our knees. Try not to lock your knees out. So last five seconds here. Working through, out of two, out of one, and time. Ooh, a little extra credit there. Good stuff. All right, keeping with two dumbbells. Squat curl press, coming up in 10. Five seconds. All right, team, find that shoulder width apart here. Up into our bicep curl, front rack position. Down into our squat. Thrusting up into our overhead press. Controlling that lowering phase. Good. Pushing those hips back into your squat, however deep your squat may be. Good. Those dumbbells are right underneath our chin in that front rack position. Good. Last 10 seconds, team. Push through. Out in five. Out in three, two, one. Stay with us and time. Good job. Dropping one dumbbell here. Forward lunge with an added twist. Mine's coming along for breath. <laughs> Six seconds here. All right, team, here we go. Two, one. I think you don't realize how short 20 seconds is until you have to rest and recover through it. <laughs> I think the great thing about timing is it really forces you to add structure to your workout. Not only that, but helps keep you accountable. These different movements could really drag on for the same amount of reps for a lot longer, for the longer period of rest. But we are cutting down that rest to really increase our heart rate elevation, decrease the recovery time. Asking a lot more out of our bodies here. Last two, last rep, and time. Good job. Round three, set four. Ooh, last one of round three. Last one of round three. <laughs> Absolutely, towel off here. We're gonna push through our moving planks. In three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. Up into that moving plank. Right back down. Again, this can be at your own speed. We need to stay into that low plank. Let's hold for that low plank. Push back in those heels to engage our lower body. Glutes are activated as well. Nice flat back. Good. 15 seconds here. Good job. I see Siren Barry's elbows are right underneath her shoulders. That's gonna give her the most stability in that low and high plank position. Hips are square to the floor. Feet shoulder width apart. All good stuff here. Two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> Stand up, hand clap. Audiences included here. Yes. We now love it here. Now, now we are pumped up. The whole team is involved here. <laughs> good job, team. Good job. Let us know how you're doing here. Again, recovering here through our third round into our fourth round coming up. 35 seconds, find our breath, find our cadence. Towel off, 
let's get ready to work. Last and final round. We like to say our last round is our best round. So we are moving into the last round with full intention, if it's in our practice, to scale up in weight, to scale up in tempo, to give just a little bit more effort than we did the round before. 15 seconds here to gather our space. Oh yeah, 10 seconds here. Five and up. Here we go, staggered stance, heel to toe on our foot placement, soft bend that front knee and rear knee, pushing those hips back, feeling that stretch in your hamstring. Once you do feel that stretch in your hamstring on that front leg, let's come right back up, back to standing position. Our hips are square to the floor, or square to the front of the room rather. So think about keeping those hips square. If you feel one side opening up just a little bit, be mindful of that. Try to correct it by bringing that right hip down or that left hip, depending on our side. Keep those dumbbells close to us. Those dumbbells are tracking towards our shoelaces. Good. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. 20 seconds to rest here. Rest and recover. Adjust our weight if needed. I do. <laughs> All right, standing up here. I'm gonna try the heavier one. Try, oh, I we'll feel see. the, we'll see. I see the challenge there. All right, Sandra. Called him out. Called it out. Squat, curl, press. Here we go, feet shoulder width apart. Up into that bicep curl. Down into our squat. Drive up, overhead press. Controlling that lower rib phase. There we go. Again, working through at your own pace. Good, 15 and out. If you feel a little less momentum or mobility into your squat, think about tracking your knees out towards the outside in alignment with your toes. Last two, last one here. <laughs> and time, 20 seconds here. Good work, team, good work. Pushing through our last and final set. Again, what you put in is what can help challenge you into these four movements here. We are scaling up here. So, here we go, two, one, 40 on the clock. Dropping down into your forward lunge. Add a twist, right back up. Good, nice and stable. Stabilize, nice and controlled here into your forward lunge. Keeping our chest up. Good job. Nice twist, Sternberg. Again, trying to keep our feet shoulder width apart, even in the forward lunge position. That can help with stability as well, and balance, and control, and form. Last two, last rep, and time. Good job. Ooh. Drop the weight here. You won't see that one again unless you retake the class. All right, a little hand clap here. Moving into our last and final movement. Seven, six, moving plank here. Low plank, high plank, transitioning through. Stay with us, B-Fit Nation. If you've been moving this whole time, let's continue to move through. Whew. Sergeant Barry's with the tempo today. Came out of the gate. Gotta make it our best run, boy. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Last round here. Good. Be mindful of the arm that you push up with. I maybe should have mentioned that a little earlier. Go ahead and all tight. You're the lead arm. You got it, team. Stay with us. Hips square to the floor. Control our weight. Out in five. Last three, two. Last rep here. Finish us out. And time. <laughs> oh. Find our air. It's up here. Find our air. Oh, come on, air. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> B-Fit Nation. Good job here, Sunbury. Awesome. Good work here. B-Fit Nation hand clap. High five to us out there. Great work today. As we bring our heart rate down, take the time right now. Obviously, hydrate here. Hydrate, but take the time to stretch out if you need, right? Sorry, Bray and I are here with you, but as we walk through this last closing, Take the time to stretch out and uh, recover here with our targeted muscle groups. We worked our full body here. So this was an example of our full body resistance-based workout from 
our BFIT Live Exchange program platform here. All right, leave us a note in the comment. Let us know how you did today, team. Let us know how you did and where you joined us from. Again, depending on where you are in the world, visit us in store or online. If you're going in store, find our Be Fit department. Look for that sporting good, that fitness apparel, footwear, fitness trackers, sports nutrition, sporting goods, things of that nature. Uh, find us in store, shop for things of that nature to help keep your body active and moving forward team. Shop us online at shopmyexchange.com just like you saw. That can take you to an easy click through of all of our BeFit products team. All right, as always, if you visit us in store, check out our wellness services that we offer, whether it be cryotherapy or chiropractic care in some locations team uh, to help really focus on recovery and sparking that recovery process as hard as we put in the work in here at our BeFit Live platform. We should really focus on recovery as well from our wellness services and recovering our body from the outside in and inside out. But also with that inside out or inside out process, uh, focus on nutrition, right? Uh, with the exchange, we have more than 1,700 uh, exchange restaurants that can help build a better you team. So focus on nutrition, surf through those menus, find that better for you option to really help spark that healthy lifestyle living, that healthy, better for you options on nutrition. As always, if you jump out to our express stores, look for this tag that is on the screen, Healthier Choices. We take the guesswork out of smart snacking options. So uh, more than 400, 450 items uh, to surf through those aisles and search for that Healthier Choice tag to take the guesswork out once again. Uh, they meet a certain criteria, whether it be low sodium, a low carb, or a high protein, or a combination of different attributes to help with healthier choice, smart snacking options to fuel your, you know, your uh, in-between breakfast, lunch, health. dinners, and right, and again, recovery process with smart snacking options and nutrition. If you're looking for additional information, you can visit us on the hub here, team. Visit us on the hub at shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. It is right there on the screen, and you'll find that QR code that you can scan with your phone and your camera to take you directly to this website from the exchange that has our wealth of information from our workouts to any live events, any at-home workouts and a different workout series, as well as wellness services that you can find at your specific installation. If you look on the wellness tab, you can look on nutrition tab to find some nutrition aspects from the exchange and what we have to offer as well as gear and it'll take you to the exchange uh, wellness site. So uh, that's kind of the, the well holistic approach that our exchange program offers and we're here team we're here to help us uh, build ourselves on a healthier version day by day week by week with our exchange BFIT live program as well are there anything else that we uh, need to share with team just as always and thanks for joining us um, I'm just a huge believer in working out together as a team and encouragement um, motivates me more, mm -hmm. and I know Roy, it motivates you as well too. Especially when I challenge you on the weights, right? No, I'm exactly. Just um, but no, just always, as always, thank you for, for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. So with that, BFit Nation, oh, we are signing off. BFit Ashes, Roy Montes here, and Team Rest Times on here. Have a great rest of your week, team.